Hello, everyone. I'm John. Welcome back to my channel, where we talk about all things personal finance. Today, we're diving into a question many of you have been asking. Where should I keep my cash? With so many options out there, it can be tough to decide the best place for your hard-earned money. So, if you're looking for ways to maximize your savings, you're in the right place. Don't forget to hit that like button if you find this video helpful and subscribe to our channel for more financial tips and tricks. Let's get started. High Yield Savings Accounts First up, we have High Yield Savings Accounts. These are like your traditional savings accounts, but with a twist they offer much higher interest rates, allowing your money to grow faster. The APY or Annual Percentage Yield is the key here. The higher the APY, the more your cash will earn over time. Pros Higher interest rates compared to traditional savings accounts. Easy access to your funds. FDIC insured up to $250,000, which means your money is safe even if the bank fails. Cons Interest rates can fluctuate. Some accounts may have minimum balance requirements or monthly fees. For those interested in opening a high-yield savings account, check out the latest rates and offers from banks like Marcus 4.40%, Sofi 4.60% and CIT Bank to 5.05%. You can find links to these in the video description below. Bank CDIS Next, let's talk about Certificates of Deposit, or CDIS, offered by banks. CDs are time-bound savings accounts that typically offer a fixed interest rate for a specified term. The longer the term, the higher the interest rate you'll usually get. Pros Fixed interest rates mean predictable returns. FDIC insured, offering a safe investment option. Cons Your money is locked in for the term of the CD, and early withdrawal can result in penalties. If interest rates rise, you're stuck with the lower rate until your CD matures. For more information on bank CDs and to compare rates, visit websites like Bankrate and Investopedia. Links are provided in the description. Interest rate, up to 5.40%. Brokerage account CDs. Brokerage account CDs are similar to bank CDs, but are sold through brokerage firms. These can be traded on the secondary market, which adds a layer of flexibility. Pros, potentially higher returns than bank CDs, can be sold on the secondary market for added liquidity. Cons. Trading on the secondary market can come with additional risks and fees. Not all brokerage CDIS are FDIC insured. To explore brokerage account CDIS, check out brokerages like Fidelity or Charles Schwab. We've included some helpful links below. Interest rate range. 5.00% to 5.46% T-bills. Treasury bills or T-bills are short-term government securities with maturities ranging from a few days to 52 weeks. They are sold at a discount and mature at face value. Pros, backed by the US government, making them a very safe investment, exempt from state and local taxes. Cons, lower returns compared to other investments. You'll need to wait until maturity to access the full value. For more information on T-bills and how to purchase them, Visit the Treasury Direct website. The link is in the description. I-Bonds Series I Savings Bonds All I-Bonds are government bonds that earn interest based on a combination of a fixed rate and an inflation rate. Pros Protection against inflation Federal tax can be deferred until you cash in the bond or it matures. Cons You must hold them for at least one year. If you redeem them before five years, you'll forfeit the last three months of interest. To learn more about I-Bonds and how to add them to your portfolio, visit the Treasury Direct link below. Money Market Accounts Lastly, we have Money Market Accounts. These are savings accounts with typically higher interest rates and may come with check-writing privileges. Pros Higher interest rates than regular savings accounts. Check-writing capabilities Cons. Minimum balance requirements are often higher. 
number of transactions may be limited. For those interested in money market accounts, you can find more information and compare accounts at US News and World Report's website. The link is in the description. Interest rate range 4.00% to 5.7%. To there you have it, folks. Six different places to keep your cash, each with its own set of benefits and drawbacks. Whether you're looking for safety, higher returns, or liquidity, there's an option out there that's right for you. Remember to do your research and consider your financial goals before making a decision. Before we wrap up, we'd love it if you could hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more financial insights. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.